Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Kayleen Strain coming at you from my deck. And I want to give you an update on my plants. I have picked off more dead leaves and a flower just fell off here, but it was starting to close anyway. This little guy is getting bigger. It already dropped its flower. And then this is the main one. Oop, I just lost that little one, but oh well. I got this big one, so I'm happy with it. This is developing pretty nice, but I like to leave it on the shelf so it can be supported. That little guy will just go on the compost. Yep, this little guy is going to be too, uh, too late, so I'll put that in the compost later. But this is my uh, cilantro producing the coriander seeds. So there's some green ones. And then I got ones that have already turned. You can see them, some that have turned and some that are still green. So, and this thing is just making leaves, and these are just bits. No, oh, that's trash, so I picked that out. The wind blows that, so I picked that out. But anyway, what I want to show you is how I water the plants when they're stacked like this. So, most of my plants I water with this kettle, and I've already done the ones that I water with this one. But now I want to water the ones that would be hard to reach with this, so this is my squeeze bottle. I rescued this from the mosque when we were using it for uh, pancake syrup, but there's no closer, no cap to put over this, so I brought it home instead of letting it get thrown away, and so what I do is I fill it. When I had more plants, I filled it from the sink and brought both of these full out here. So I will put the rest of the water in here, and I'll water the other plants, and I'll be right back. You see, with this, I can direct the water where I want to go. And I'll do it in this one. And down here, I got two little plants that popped in here where I had some ginger. Well, now I got three, so that's just some of my cilantro picking in. And I got some an unknown thing where I had my uh, onion experiments that failed. So that's how I water those. And I do the aeolium up here. I just aim it in the corners. I just do all four corners of this one. Of course, this is not an edible plant. This is a, a rescue. And that's pretty much how I do that. And when I had the herbs down here before I harvested them, I did the same thing. I would just aim so I can even though I watered this one, just aim it around like that. And that's how I did that. So this is one way you can find something that would otherwise be useless, or maybe not useless, but something that you can use for a different purpose. So you don't have to go buy some watering can or jug that might not fit when you're doing stacked plants like this. Yeah, I could have another one up here and just do the same thing. You know, I can control where the water goes. And that's how I do it. So, so there is your tip for the day. It's really nice out here. 
These things, I don't know what to say about them. They just got huge. I have no idea what these things are supposed to do as far as a, like a Brussels sprout. And these are supposed to be greens, but I think they're bushes. So I know I don't know what happened there. But anyway, I'm still having fun with them. Still nurturing them. This over here just pretty much went to crap. And this one is the same thing. It's just gotten all almost like a bush or a tree or something. I don't know what happened. But anyway. So this is my squash. I'll just keep going with it and carving it if, uh, if the night gets too cold. Like I showed in the last uh, deck garden video. So anyway, so there's your tip for today. It's going to you know, this, it fell off. I'm just going to toss it in the compost and it will nurture future growth. So anyway, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.